All right, that should be recording, and it is, good. So people who uh, show up late will find recordings of it all. So what we're doing is Violent Python, and it's here, and I'm gonna put this link in the chat. It's just uh, from Sam's class.info. My vids are in Val, I don't know about that. Anyway, all right, so, um, oh, that went to just someone private. Let me send it to everyone. All right, there. So there's the, this page here, Violent Python 3, and this is structured like a capture the flag contest. So uh, when you go here, you'll find a challenge to solve. And when you solve the challenge someplace here, it would be find a flag. So you run this page, the flag is this. So when you find a flag, note the number like BP 100.3, and then you go to the top here and submit the flag. So it's uh, VP. 100.3, you put in your name, you put in the flag, and you get on the scoreboard, just like any other CTF. However, this is not a really serious CTF like, uh, like the DEF CON CTF, where the challenges are all new, and they're really difficult, and you win a prize at the end. There's no prize, and these have been done used before. This is just a way to make it more fun to trick people into doing their homework. It's not a really serious CTF. However, I will archive the scoreboard so you can brag about it. And uh, all right. so. Um, I'm going to give a quick overview of what's happening here, and then we'll demonstrate the things um, in detail. So if you don't know any programming, you should start with Python. Python is the easiest language for beginners, and it's really quite powerful. And there are many different ways to write Python. You can write very simple, very basic code in Python, which is what I do. I really write Python the same way I used to write Fortran in the 1970s. <laughs> And you can use it that way. Now, if you're an expert, you use Python in more advanced, fancy ways, which I don't know, and that's cool. But you can you can write very simple code uh, in a very straightforward way and get work done in Python. And you also have all the advanced features if you want to get there. And we're doing Python 3 here. I used to teach Python 2, but Python 2 is now deprecated and everything should be Python 3. But the reason why I do this is because it's more fun to learn to attack people with Python than it is to do boring things like add numbers together and stuff. So we're going to talk about how strings and bytes and files work in Python, and then start making uh, network attacks. You can make a port scanner, you can send HTTP requests, and you can do brute force attacks to break into servers by trying a list of passwords. You can examine DNS, and you can watch DNS traffic for botnet signals and so on. And you can there's HTTP traffic to look at too. And uh, then we have a lot of cryptography from password hashes to AES, um, hashing systems, finding hash collisions, RSA, and Argon2, a new hashing system. A lot of uh, cryptography stuff to do. And then some complete crazy stuff. Server-side template injection is a new way, like a, a similar to SQL injection, of hacking into websites using Python-based frameworks. You can do machine learning with Python. It's very easy very simple machine learning tasks, and you can even do quantum computing, real quantum computing, if you can get access to the hardware, or simulated quantum computing, if you're just starting out without access to an actual quantum computer. And uh, so, and then there's a couple of things about setup. So I'm gonna demonstrate these in detail, but so another thing to tell you is if you get stuck or you have any questions, there are three of us here to help you. I can help you, and Irvin and Caitlin are all here. Too. I, I can help you too. Yeah, Liz is here. Good. All four of us are here. The whole gang. So you saw Elizabeth there. Elizabeth and Caitlin and Irvin, all security professionals. Irvin and uh, Liz teach at colleges, and Caitlin is a professional at Telegraph Company. So they are, uh, they're all experts, and they can help you in one-to-one -one chat. So you know, if you get stuck or you need help, let us know because this is not so much a competition to prove that you're the greatest. It's just a way to, like, keep people moving. So I'm going to stop. Uh, so if you if you don't know anything, just start at the beginning, and I'll go over these. If you want to skip ahead to something later, skip there. There's a lot more than two hours of work here, so uh, don't feel required to do everything in order. Skip ahead to whatever's of most interest to you, but I will demonstrate them, and we'll archive videos here as we go ahead. Oh, we should cover how to submit flags. I already showed them that. Okay, cool. Good. Yeah, good. All right, so I'm going to stop this video.